You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, and co-host, Keelan Harvey, on Alternative Talk AM 1150. Now, back to the show with local mortgage experts, Tina Mitchell and Keelan Harvey. Welcome back to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell. And co-host, Keelan Harvey. Your local mortgage experts right here at 1150 AM, KKNW, the Saturday, August 18th show. We are here to help you build a strong financial blueprint, one week and one show at a time. If you're hearing our show at a different time or day, you are listening to a rebroadcast, but we're here to connect you with the guests that we have on the show today. Please call the show at one 855 1150 Again, that's one 855 1150 or online at themoneyhour.com. In studio right now, Austin Chapin of 360 Credit Consulting Credit Repair. Austin, thank you so much. First time in studio. Excited to have you. Tina, Keelan, great great to have, be on here, and I really appreciate you guys having me. Awesome. A little bit about uh, Austin. Austin is with 360 Credit Consulting, is a regional sales manager for the northwestern region of the U.S. He's only 25. He's the youngest one that we have here in studio. A little envious. I just turned 50, so you're half my age. I just might as well say that. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, When he's not working, he loves to play golf, working out, um, disciplining new habits into his routine that he believes will contribute to success, and most importantly, spending time with his friends and family. Austin, thanks for joining us, buddy. So uh, 360 Credit Consulting, uh, what exactly is your title? So uh, my title, as Tina said earlier, is a regional sales manager um, of the Northwest region. And uh, with 360 Credit Repair, essentially my mission is here to help lenders and borrowers close the home loans that they're falling a little bit short on. These can be people of all nature that are below a 600 that people need to get closed on the home loan or that have a credit score that are at 620 and they want to get up to a 680 to get a better rate on their mortgage. So Austin, what is it that that you're doing for the company? So I'm here for business development. I Mm -hmm. meet with lenders and branches and banks um, all across this Northwest area in order to um, obtain some of the clients that are falling short on those home loans. That's a big deal, really. We get, I mean, the mortgage Mm -hmm. space, you know, credit is a huge deal for people and how it can affect their futures. And they want a home and it could be that one thing that stops them from that perfect program where they're comfortable moving forward. So you do quite the service, Austin. Absolutely. Um, And I know uh, kind of the credit repair has a reputation of uh, pestering a lot of the lenders, and we're not here to do that. We're here to give transparent and honest communication and really help you guys contribute to the success that you already bring. Well, we appreciate that. So what specific duties do you perform? Um, So I do everything from actually touching the clients and the borrowers, uh, giving free consultations where I go line by line with some of these clients to see what we can remove off their credit report or running what-if simulators to see what we can use to best utilize their cash to fix their debt-to-income ratio, to um, pay down credit cards, and et cetera. So, Austin, what happens when you initially contact a borrower or a lender uh, for services? Um, So whenever we're speaking with a lender, um, that lender then refers me over to the client. Mm -hmm. I talk to the client one-on-one, give them a line-by-line consultation um, to see if we can actually be fitting for them and get them to that growth of a credit score that they need to be at. Now, every now and then we run into situations where this is where credit repair can get a little bit nosy into people's businesses and um, people kind of get pushed to get enrolled into these programs. We're not here to do that or to milk out a client for six or seven months. We want to see if you have a successful credit report that we can serve to get you into that home loan at the fastest time available. And that's why it's nice, Austin, that, I mean, you're going directly to the lender. The lender's building a relationship as we have with you, and that's why you're here in the studio. Um, And then you're getting that introduction from the lender. So I really encourage for all the listeners out there, listen to your lender. You've built the relationship and you've uh, that rapport with them, and they're going to connect you with the people that you need. And if you're listening, I mean, credit repair is so important because it's kind of like if you get a speeding ticket and you don't hire an attorney, most likely you're going to pay for that speeding ticket. But if you have an attorney that's going to come into court, they know the rules and how that ticket it was issued to it the same thing with credit repair there's violations and things that are happening and how uh, things are getting reported on your credit late or not if they're not getting reported accurately in the way they should they have to be deleted and that's really what the expertise of a true credit repair company is going to be able to offer you a lot of misconceptions too you'd say tina i mean a lot mm-hmm. of people just don't have a really good understanding it's super complicated yeah. on what you should and shouldn't pay mm-hmm. and and percentages mm-hmm. and all that stuff 
Um, we do a lot with debt, Austin. So debt to income for people getting home loans is important. You know, it really is a, a, a line in which how much home can they receive or afford per se. Uh, give us some tips on how to deal with revolving debts as it's referred to with, with credit. So um, in the mortgage industry, there is about 52 algorithms that FICO uses to pull someone's credit score. Now, whether you're going to Wells Fargo, where they use RELS, or Bank of America, where they use Landsafe to pull credit, those algorithms can actually change to see. So therefore, using a what-if simulator that we have specialized with 360 Credit Consulting, we can analyze what algorithm is being used to pay off those outstanding revolving accounts to maximize your highest increase in credit score. And it's important to understand how that affects credit because revolving debts and the percentage that you have, if it goes over that uh, 30% ratio of 50 can be devastating. So just really understanding that. Also, can you, um, Austin, talk about how damaging it can be to close out accounts that are not being used, which really is a myth uh, sometimes that consumers feel that that's going to be benefiting their credit? Yeah, um, if you have an open line of credit of $1,000 and you're not utilizing any of that credit opportunity, you're actually hurting yourself on on your credit score. But if you close that account and you've got a history, let's say, for two years on a revolving credit card and then you go close that account, people think that might be good when in reality it can be devastating because now you've lost that history of that account. Is that correct, Austin? Yes, we run into that all the time. Yeah. It is uh, good to keep that account open and revolving. And so get the advice yes. first before doing anything, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, absolutely. And always keep that um, utilization underneath 30% on your credit card. So, I mean, we we see often um, on people's credit reports, you know, you went to the doctors, a bill comes you never saw, and next thing you know, there's a $150 bill from a uh, a doctor or some nature, or maybe it's a speeding ticket. What about the collections on there? Can you tell us about the best way to handle collections? Now, some of the best ways to handle collections, um, definitely this is something that we need to see on the credit report. Um, if you have a collection that is withstanding within a uh, previous of 8 to 12 months, it is probably best not to pay off that collection because it are, has already taken the ding on your credit report. Now, if it's within the 8 to 12 months, um, that is where you would definitely want to call into us to get that free consultation to see which way we can best utilize that open capital that you have. See, that's why it's so important talking with an expert. Can you believe that? Do not pay off your collection account. And there's the nether. And what happens when you pay that off, it's actually you lose that history from that account. And the better way is if you've got to pay it off for lending, because sometimes the lender is going to say it needs to be paid off. It can be paid off at closing, where only you're going to have a soft pull, not a hard pull, where it's paid off before and it's going to affect your credit score. Correct, Austin? Yes. Yeah. So, Austin, um, why don't we talk about the big one a lot of people are freaked out about these days, especially with technology, identity theft or fraud. What are your thoughts on that? So identity theft is actually very common. Um, we actually see eight out of 10 credit reports actually come in with some oh type God, of identity crazy. theft, identity fraud, or that's a duplication cr- that that's sitting crazy. on there. So if you actually have seven out of the same nine social, securities match, social security numbers matching someone else, you can be at risk of identity theft or identity fraud. Um, And that's just a mistake that's done on behalf of the credit bureaus because at the end of the day, they're just a data repository company. Mm -hmm. So they have to actually pull all this information from these creditors to see what information is um, reporting correctly. So Austin, uh, share a little bit about bankruptcy and how bankruptcies can um, affect your credit score, what can be done to improve your credit score when you've had a bankruptcy. Now, what we see on a credit report with bankruptcies, um, I like to think of them as a large umbrella. Um, You take all of your charge-offs, your profits and losses, and you stick them all underneath the date that you declared bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. What we're seeing most of the time is that some of these dates of these charge-offs or these profits and losses are sitting outside of the bankruptcy as well. So they are double reporting on your credit report. Therefore, they are double dinging. And these are just a lot of small common errors that people just don't necessarily see underneath the human eye. You kind of have to take a magnifying glass to really figure it out. And isn't it true, really, it's not the bankruptcy as much that affects the credit score. It's the actual uh, lates and things that happen from those accounts that are being pulled into the bankruptcy. Is that correct, Austin? Absolutely. Yeah. Austin, I always say in the mortgage business, not all companies are created equally, and I would imagine it's the same with the uh, credit repair industry. Uh, What separates your company from others? Um, What I would say is our personalized one-on-one service. Um, For a lender perspective, we offer a monthly pipeline that you are sent when your client has enrolled and when their estimated repull date is and all the current homework that that client needs to do in order to increase that credit score. 
Secondly, um, I would say that you work directly with me and my team. Um, I have an inside account manager and a customer service representative that are very keen on the phones, and there's no lost communication between what is going on with your account. Um, some of these credit repair companies, they kind of get so big that they have large call centers. Um, we still stay very homebodied and mm -hmm. honest to the client. So, Austin, what about the uh, time frame and the cost associated to credit repair? Because you guys are you're really great in both of those areas. Yes. Um, so, averagely, um, the expected time to get a return on your credit report to where it needs to be is 90 to 120 days. Um, and the consumer has a lot to do with that, right? If they're doing the things that they need to do. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. We can lead a horse to water, but we cannot make it drink. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but that is what we're here for. We're here uh -huh. to hold those clients' hands sure. and get them through those tough times. And the cost, Austin? Um, and the cost is $89 for the startup fee and $69 each month going forward. And we expect, you know, three to four months of that servicing. Yeah. So I know, uh, Austin, that you're a big networker. So tell us a little bit. I know we're kind of changing gears here, but tell us why networking is so important to you. You know, uh, networking is um, one of probably the most dominant things that I was told by uh, my mentor on what I should do. You know, I'm on this radio show here because I met Tina Mitchell, mm -hmm. and she spoke on that as well. And I see how successful she's become in her industry. So um, I, I, I really believe in the mortgage, uh, whether you're a realtor, a lender, um, in titling, it is extremely important to have a strong band put together in order to you know, grow and share your sound with the rest of Washington. Love that. And the, the importance of really networking uh, with the best of the best, and we're all connected together because we're providing that service to our clients, but there's a lot of us it takes to cover that whole arena. So, Austin, a consumer comes in for a mortgage, and we pull their credit report, obviously, and they're surprised to see their credit score is different because they've pulled it on my FICO score, and they're not really aware. I mean, you've talked about the 52 different algorithms, and it's going to be different even when they pull for a car versus pulling for a mortgage. Can you share why? Yeah, so out of those 52 different algorithms, um, there are four different lines in, the in, in this industry. There's the insurance, the auto, the mortgage and the online industry. So whenever we're seeing a lot of those online reports, we are getting a different utilization of those algorithms. Now, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac stepped in and said, whoa, 52 algorithms, there's way too many. So they narrowed it down to eight. And each scoring method that is used in the uh, mortgage industry is a combination of three out of those eight algorithms rather than all 52. And it, and it really makes sense if you think about it because it's all based on statistic. Well, take the online out of it because they just think they're getting their credit score, but it's all based on statistic. Obviously, there's going to be different risk factors that are going to show if somebody's applying for a home mortgage versus a risk factor that's going to show for uh, auto or for um, insurance. So it makes total sense. Exactly. So, Austin, uh, everybody's dying to know. They learned a little bit from you today, or a lot, I should say. Where can people go if they're uh, searching for some credit help? So, you can actually call me directly. My cell phone number is 303-550-4753. Once again, this is Austin with 360 Credit Consulting. Look forward to your calls, and uh, let's see what we can do for you to get you into that home. Love it, Austin. Thank you so much for coming into studio, and thank you for everything that you do for all of our buyers that need some uh, credit assistance. Thank you guys for having me on. Absolutely. Coming up next on the Money Hour, the evolving Seattle area market. Michael Pollock with Northwest Premier Brokers right here at 1150 AM, KKNW, after the short break.